Hey everybody, it's Glenn back in this video with the WWE Basic Series 51 Stephanie McMahon. On the packaging back we have a picture of Stephanie looking as pleased as the cat who got the milk or just plain looking like a cat. Seriously, it can't just be me who sees this. The older she gets, the more feline looking she's becoming. Then pictured are the rest of the series, Dolph Ziggler, Dean Ambrose, Stardust who like Stephanie is first time in the line, Stone Cold Steve Austin and Heath Slater who had he not been pictured here would have never crossed my mind again. Is he still even employed with the WWE? Here she is out of packaging and ready to march down to the ring and stick her nose into some wrestler's business. I do have a curious fault on mine where a spot of the flesh coloured paint has splashed onto the shoe, making it look like one of her toes is making a bid for freedom. So obviously the figure renders her in a pants suit ready for business. She's also scheduled for Elite 37, which to complement this basic one. I hope it's Stephanie in some form of ring gear. Perhaps a flashback from her run with the Women's Championship in 2000 and with that belt as an accessory. You know a lot of Hasbro's female Marvel Legends have come in heels of late and as such displaying them has become a bit of a balancing act. Yet Stephanie in spite of her heels is surprisingly sturdy. Maybe because they've widened the heel at the base. Taking a closer look and I think the likeness is really good. In fact, I'm going to call it the best likeness of any of Mattel's divas. I mean, that says as much about how good this likeness is as it does about how much many of them are. I mean, I have a Rosa Mendes figure that I only know is Rosa because her picture and name were on the packaging it came in. Having come accustomed to the Hasbro Marvel Legends pattern of reusing parts, I did expect much of this Stephanie to reuse parts from the previously released Lana, but they share less parts than I expected. So it seems they do share the same lower arms, yet the upper arms are distinct as Stephanie's rotate at the shoulder whereas Lana's don't, rotating at the elbow instead. Which brings us on to articulation and owing to the flow of her hair down the back she has restricted rotation of the head and no up or down posability of the head. At the shoulder her arms rotate and move up this far, there's upper arm rotation, then a single jointed elbow and rotation at the wrist. Not sure if she has a diaphragm joint as most diva figures do, it's hard to tell with her jacket being in the way, yet she has rotation at the waist, then at her hips her legs move out quite far, they don't move the greatest amount forwards, then her legs move even less far back, there's upper leg rotation, then a single jointed knee, near the ankle her foot is hinged moving backwards and forwards, plus it also has rotation. So I'm really impressed with this Stephanie, if Mattel nailed every diva in this way I'd be a happier collector for sure. And to that end, hopefully she is a sign of onwards and upwards. For a closer look at the Lana scene in this video and the Rusev she came in a battle pack with, click the video on the right. As ever, I sure would appreciate it if you could give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.